Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome to another episode with me. I'm totally Tiffany, Tiffany Spaulding. I am so excited today to introduce you to the Buddy Bags. Now, the Buddy Bags are a product line that was designed completely around how we craft. We need lightweight, we need clear, we need visible, we need accessible, we need portable. All of those things are included in the Buddy Bag line, and there are so many great buddies. I guess I should start by telling you how the Buddy Bags came to get their names. The vast majority of the names in the Buddy Bags are people in the Totally Tiffany community, people who, if you know, I teach this class called the Get Organized Challenge, and in that class, we have thousands of participants who ask dozens of questions, and I could never answer all of them myself. So most of the girls that are named here in this collection are people who are on our Facebook page helping other people get organized. So this is a way to celebrate them and thank them. Now, as a side note, when I came out with the first set of buddy bags, my sister said, what? There's no buddy bag named after me. So when we get to Irene, that's my sister. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with Lisa. Lisa is a 12 by 12 buddy bag and she is designed to hold all things 12 by 12 including our 12 by 12 tabbed divider pockets. So a great way to store things like 12 by 12 stencils, but she's also gonna be awesome for 12 by 12 paper, 12 by 12 paper pads, all of those things. So Lisa is gonna be your go-to for all things 12 by 12, and she's gonna slide right into your tote or go right onto your shelf. And I know what you're thinking, will she fit in my cube storage? And the answer is, yes, she will. So you are gonna love Lisa. All right, let's move on from Lisa to our little gal, Shelly, here. Now, Shelly was born for washi tape. That was her mission in life, to organize washi tape. You can see I've got all Christmas washi tape here. But like so many Totally Tiffany products, once we introduce them in the marketplace, there are all these other uses that evolve. And so she is great for your teardrop inks as well. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. You're going to get 14... Uh, did I say 14 or 16? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 teardrop inks in your Shelly Buddy Bag. And as a side note, you can get two sleeves of golf balls in the Shelly Buddy Bag. So if you've got a golfer in your life, that might be a nice gift for him or her. Teresa, she's one of our skinny gals, our little gals. She is ideal for things like washi tape, glitter glues, and even your favorite re-inkers are gonna fit right into the Teresa Buddy Bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So you're gonna get 10 things into the Teresa Buddy Bag. Gail is one of my favorites because I am a adhesive junkie and she will hold a variety of adhesives. Look at all those different adhesives. So here's an, a really cool thing to do with your Buddy Bags, especially these gals is to open them up and stand them up inside a drawer, right? Now you've got a drawer organizer, so you can reach in and grab that adhesive, or maybe you have a cart that you're trying to get organized, a cart organizer, and then when you're ready to travel with that, you can pull that drawer divider or cart organizer right out, grab it by the handle and take it with you. So it works at home as an organizer and it works on the go as well. So she's great for adhesives. She's also great for inks and re-inkers as well. So you can see, I think I've got nine ink pads in here and three re-inkers. So she's a great accessory to your stamp and supply collection as well. Karen is one of the favorites. Oh, look, she has a name tag. Oh, speaking of name tags, I'm gonna tell you a little trick about the name tags for these bags. Okay, so Karen is great for card making. She's also gonna work with our five by seven pockets and our five by seven magnets. So if you're looking for a great way to store dies and stamps together, the five by seven pockets, five by seven magnets are gonna fit right in the Karen bag as well. But cards that you've completed, card blanks, envelopes, they're all right here. It's like almost kind of like an old fashioned recipe file. She's got that nice angle on the side. She keeps everything nice and neat and organized. Karen has been a long time member of the Buddy Bag Group and she is a crowd pleaser and a big favorite. Ah, oh, Katya, look at this gal. She has four boxes. Oh, I'm gonna backtrack for a minute because one thing I didn't talk about was why buddy bags are so amazing and keep their shape. And that is because all of the buddy bags come with a plastic insert tray that you just fold together and insert into the bag. And that is why all of these bags keep their shape even though they're not fully loaded with product. So Katja has 
four boxes, which is why she works almost like a file, right? So I've got bias tape and rickrack sewing things here. I've got different dies and stamps here. I've got our little, these are the small die and stamp pockets. So those fit perfectly right into the kacha bags. You can create this mini file of your small dies and your small stamps, but great for sewing notions as well. Okay, let's move on to another four drawer girl. This is Dawn. And whenever I say that, I think in my head, Delta Dawn. I'm not sure I'm allowed to sing. Well, I'm not allowed to sing for a number of reasons, but I don't know if there's a trademark on that. So pretend you didn't hear it. Okay, uh, crayons, obviously. Uh, anything that these are, your gelatos, your glue sticks, your adhesive runners, and again, four little small boxes. Keep all of your little things nice and neat and organized. And for those of you who are tea drinkers, tea bags fit perfectly in Dawn. So if you like to keep a little stash of tea bags in your desk at work or maybe your workspace at home, she's a great place to store those as well. These are the little tidbits you get for tuning in to the Totally Tiffany madness here to learn about all these things during each episode. All right, let's move on to this gal who looks like two different gals, right? Two different sizes, but she's really not. This is Irene, my sister's namesake, and she has two strips of hook and loop fabric on the front. So if you've got something small, like these smaller ink pads, you're gonna be able to pull to that bottom hook and loop. And if you've got something large, like these ink pads, you're gonna be able to, to hook to the top. So even though they look like the same, I mean, they look like different bags, this is in fact the same bag, just two different uh, uses for her. Now, I said a minute ago, I was gonna give you a tip about naming the bags. They're all clear, they all have black trim, they're all made out of vinyl. If you're trying to figure out which one you love the most, how do you do that? Well, you could measure it and then you can compare but the easiest thing to do when you get your buddy bags, the easiest thing to do is cut the name off of the bag and put it in the bottom of the tray before you put it into the bag. And that way, when you need more Irene bags, you can just flip your Irene bag over and see the name and you'll know exactly what you need to reorder. So as these are coming into your home, cut that label right off the packaging, put it in the bottom of the bag. You'll be so happy you did when you're ready to, find, to choose more bags or you need more bags. This is Brandy and Brandy is one of my favorites because I am a ruler junkie. So let me roll back her top here. So any kind of ruler, ribbon rulers, centering rulers, border rulers, basic rulers, and if you use cutting templates that are 12 inches long, long skinny cutting templates, all of those things are gonna fit into the brandy bag. Now, one of the great things about um, buddy bags is not only are they awesome in your craft room, but they are amazing in other places like the garage. My husband has a number of brandy bags hanging on the pegboard over his workstation loaded with different types of paint brushes, right? He, he says he deplores painting, but he's got every paintbrush on the planet and they're all stored really nice and neat and tidily in the buddy bag, in the brandy buddy bag. Leanne, she's a big girl. She is our beefy catch all heavy duty. So if you are loading up a bag to take to an event and you have heavy things, sharp things like tools, anything like that, maybe you're taking your um, heat tools, those kinds of random things that float around in your tote bag, Leanne is gonna be your catch-all for all of those things. Now, Leanne's box on the inside is this heavier uh, plastic. It's not see-through like the rest of the buddy bags, and that is because she's actually designed to hold more weight. So if you're looking for heavier things or you're transporting heavier things, look to the Leanne buddy bag. She is gonna be the perfect girl for you in that situation. The Sue buddy bag, bigger ink pads, Sue has closure on three sides with this flip back lid. Now, one of the nice things about this type of storage is that if you have an ink pad that leaks, so you can see I've got a little, maybe, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. I've got a little bit of an orange ink there. I'll just be able to hit that with a little bit of Windex type cleanser. Sometimes, depending on the type of ink, water or rubbing alcohol, and I can clean it right up. But if I'm transporting these, because she's got this nice closure all the way around, 
if something happens and there's a leak, the chances are it's gonna stay in the bag and not get on my other products. So the Sue Buddy bag is perfect for your bigger ink pads. You're gonna love her for that. Let's talk about Merle and Edna because Merle and Edna are like twin sisters who have different earlobes. What? That's a weird thing, isn't it? Okay, they're the exact same size and shape, except that Merle has this flap at, the, at both ends. Check it out. Edna, no flap, right? Why is that? Because if you're putting smaller things in here, maybe knitting needles or sewing notions or any of those tiny things, you wanna be able to close up the end so that if you drop that into your tote, those things aren't gonna slide out the end. So Merle and Edna, both the same size, both the same shape. Merle has the ear flaps and Edna does not. And you can see I've got Merle here loaded up with embossing powders. Now, these are also both Edna, they look this, they look different because this one is round with the ribbon in it and this one is flat with my distress inks in there. Um, so, but they're the same bag. Now, I wanna show you one other thing. Let me see if I have an open spool of ribbon. Oh, I do. Okay, so one other cool thing that you can do with your, um, with your Edna bag is you can use her as a ribbon dispenser, right? So I just didn't tighten up the hook and loop fabric all the way, and now I can dispense ribbon right out of Edna. The other nice thing about Edna is that she does not have, a. you don't have to put your ribbon on a dowel or any kind of bar. One of the problems with that is, as you know, when your middle ribbons get empty, you have to take all the other ribbons off to put the next ribbon in. Well, with Edna, you can organize your ribbon. Mine are nice, organized by rainbow color here. I can put in, put that color in anywhere I want, close it up. I'm staying organized. It's fast, it's easy, visible, accessible, portable, all those things. Common question about ink pads is, my manufacturer told me I want to that I should store my ink pads flat. You've got your ink pads vertically. Think about this, both with markers and ink pads, all you have to do with a buddy bag is change the way you have it sitting on the shelf and it is gonna work perfectly however you want to store those or however the manufacturer is recommending that you store those. So really easy for all of those things. Let's talk a little bit about markers. We have a variety of bags that work great for markers. This is Barbara, and as you can see, I've got her loaded up with permanent markers. Barbara has two boxes on the inside. While I'm talking about here, I'll talk about these ink pads as well. So again, perfect for these larger magnetic ink pads. And again, if you need to store them flat, you're just gonna turn the bag on its end and then you're gonna get flat storage. So that's Barbara. This is Deborah and Terry. And Deborah and Terry are, again, like sisters. They're almost the same shape, like configuration, but you can see Terry's a little bit taller. So Deborah is perfect for things like pencils, kind of your standard size markers are gonna fit in there. Um, zig, style, like that style, that shape. And then we've also got Terry, and Terry is taller, so she's gonna fit your taller markers, both Terry and Deborah have the fold back flap. So when you're working with this at your desktop, you have access to all of your markers really fast, really easy. And when you're traveling, you can close it up. And again, double tip markers. You can store them flat this way, flat this way. Look at, she has a name tag. Hello, my name is Terry. This way, and you've got those markers stored flat, but they're gonna travel flawlessly with all of your other supplies. Okay, Denise, and then I'm gonna do the newest girls. Denise, I have fallen in love with Denise for a whole new reason today. Ah. So why do people love Denise? She has three boxes. She's great for this size and shape of marker and you can get tons of them in there. She's gonna hold your four by six embossing folders. If you want to use her to store cards that you've made, cards you've created, she's great for that. You're gonna be able to use our medium die and stamp storage pockets to organize dies and stamps but she also works great for your small um, cardstock pads, right? So one, two, three, four, five, five. And she's got, so you can put 15 of these small cardstock pads right into the Denise bag. And when you flip her open, they're all, they all stay organized and it's like a little filing system. So it's really easy to find exactly what you want. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. I think all my ideas are brilliant, but this one is especially brilliant. So I had these in right side up, 
and you can only see the tabs at the top and kind of guess what the colors are. But if you put them in the box upside down, now I can actually thumb through and see colors, but I can also see the colors on the tab on the pad as well. So it makes it really easy to look through there and see exactly what colors I've got. So the Denise Buddy Bag, if you're looking for storage for your small uh, cardstock pads, she is gonna be your new, new favorite. And she does have also the all around seal as well. Easy to store, easy to carry this way. And again, if you're, if you're storing your double tip markers, you're just gonna tip her on her bottom and she's gonna store nice and flat for you. Okay, ink pads, my friends. We all are inky girls, inky crafters. This is the Stephanie Buddy Bag. It has four interior boxes and it is designed to hold most ink pads. So what is kind of weird about this bag is that you would think that this is the front of the bag, right? With the Velcro, but it is not. Well, it is, but I'm gonna tell you to put your ink elevators, which is what I like to call these, in the back way. So when the flap is closed, you have a clear vision to all of those ink pads. Now you'll notice that this brand of ink pads, these two brands have these strips on them with really bright colors, the colors of the ink. When you buy your Stephanie ink or your Stephanie bag, you're gonna get a sheet of stickers in that size that you can ink up um, and put on each of your ink pads so you get the exact color of ink. So ink manufacturers try to show you the exact color of ink on the ink pads, but you know when you put it on paper, it always comes out a little bit different. So those little labels are gonna help you get that organized so you can actually see what color things are. So I've got multiple ink pads in here. These are the scrapbook.com ink pads and scrapbook.com ink pads, you are gonna get eight in each section, which means you're gonna get 32 ink pads in one Stephanie bag. Super simple, really easy to use and so visual. You're gonna love Stephanie. Okay, let's talk now about our newest members of the Buddy Bag family. First one is Kirsten. Kirsten is Karen's big sister. And in Kirsten, you are gonna find these nine by six pockets. And the nine by six pockets work great with our eight by five magnets. Now, when you buy Kirsten, you get a set of pockets, but you can add additional pockets. You're gonna be able to get up to 30 pockets in each Kirsten bag. So I've got dies and stamps. Look at this, look at these giant sets of stamps, right? Big dies. If you have big dies, that's what you're gonna put in here. So you've got the eight by five magnet and the nine by six pocket is the perfect way to sort, store, and organize your bigger supplies, your bigger card stock. Any of those types of things are gonna fit perfectly in the Kirsten bag. And again, she's like Karen in that she has that nice angle at the side, almost like an old fashioned recipe card. So Kirsten, huge crowd pleaser, new, very welcome member of the family. Her sister, Katie, came right at the same time. And Katie is ideal for your tri-blend markers. So it doesn't matter whether they're the aquas, the standard tri-blends, they're all gonna fit in there. You're gonna get 52 tri-blends in the Katie Buddy Bag. So a great way to store those tri-blends and also a great way to travel with those as well. Another oh, moment, if you are a slimline lover, this, these are the slimline pads in the Katie bag, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing, la la la. I'm gonna turn them upside down. So when I look, and you know what else this is gonna be helpful? Another big epiphany, a Tiffany epiphany, that's what I should call it, um, is that you're gonna be able to make see what you've got doubles of, right? So I have two of those same pads, I can put them together, and then I'm gonna be able to see that I've already purchased that, and I'm not gonna buy another one until I use up the ones that I've got. So a great way to store your slimline pads. So this is the Katie uh, Buddy Bag. And then, what was Katie really born for? Katie was really born for slimline die storage or big stamp storage. So she's also got the eight by five pockets, great for slimline dies. You can use the eight by five magnet so you can keep your dies and stamps together. Awesome, awesome storage for those long, narrow dies. You're gonna love her for that. So the Katie Buddy Bag, perfect for dies and stamps, 
also awesome for your slimline pa uh, paper pads and anything that's in slimline, which is so popular right now. Woo! All those girls, who are you gonna choose? You're gonna need a few of each of them, I promise you. Pick up a couple of buddy bags, test them out. If you don't love them, I will be shocked and amazed. I would say, reach out to me, email me and tell me that you don't love them. But more, I know you're going to, so I'm not worried about that. But if you have a product that you wanna store in a buddy bag, I am so excited to completely, to keep designing buddy bags. So I'd love to hear from you about that as well. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. It has been awesome to share the buddy bags with you. I'm so glad you joined me in this episode and I look forward to talking to you again soon about more of the wonderful Totally Tiffany organization products available here at scrapbook.com.